1969 Volkswagen T2 bay window camper. Uh, might be a fairly long video this one just to show you everything that's been done to it because somebody spent a huge amount of money, huge amount of time. Um, we've sold quite a few of these things recently and this is easily the best one that I've ever seen. It's an amazing amount of work. As you can see, two-tone, sort of metallic grey, black, over a beautiful, almost candy red, um, with these lovely black and, and chrome wheels. You know, they've got the trouble of getting the, uh, the, the front and rear bumpers done in, in the top half of the body colour. Popped up with this lovely striped bit that, that fits perfectly for me, um, even down to matching materials and mats and things everywhere. But what we'll do is we'll start by having a look at the bodywork and then we'll go on the inside. Um, from what I understand, it was originally blue, um, but obviously it's been done into this two-tone colour scheme. It's had huge amounts of work done to the engine, all that sort of stuff. But if you read the description, I'll write down who did what, when, how much it cost. Um, I'll, uh, I'll really bore you to tears. So starting with this front, what would be the driver? So right-hand side door. So you've got this sort of two-tone effect, like I said. The chrome work on the mirror is nice. All around the window is good. Window's lovely and clear. Um, we've given it a quick clean. It is going to get a proper valet because it is a little bit grubby. Um, it's just come out of storage. But you, know, you, you, can, you can see what you're looking at here. So again, on this driver's door, all nice and clean. Do you have a small chip here just where someone's clambered in and out? And there is another one just here, as you can see. This arch is all lovely and clean. No sign of any corrosion or anything. I'll pop the camera underneath at a few points because it is really good underneath. As you can see, really nice under there. Quite often with these things, it can hide a lot of corrosion, but that's lovely. Really nice wheel, no sign of any marks or any milkiness in the diamond cut. The paint's nice and clean. Good, uh, good quality tire with plenty of meat left on it there. Moving down, you've got the seam here, all nice and clean. Again, you've got a small chip here where the door's been shut on something on this on the sliding door. Chrome work on the door is good, as is this handle. You've got the louvered window on this side and on the other side, um, which is all nice and clean. Obviously it was pressure washed, no sign of any moisture leaking in anywhere, which is really good. No smells of any damp, which is always important. But going down the side of the car, nice and clean all the way down there. Got a little bit of paint flake on the actual mechanism part of the door. Um, really easy job to touch that back in. And then going on to this rear arch, Lovely and clean in there. Nice and solid on the arch. Really, really good. Again, if we pop our camera under there, you can see, lovely and tidy. Been really well cared for. It's a mother and daughter's pride of joy, but pride and joy this thing, but they just haven't got the time for it anymore, unfortunately. Around this vent's all nice and tidy, around this seal, all new seals when the, when the, when the van was painted. With a good clear window, VW stamped windows as well, which is nice. The, uh, the pop top on this side, the fabric, is a sort of checked or striped even grey stripe, lovely and clean. Body coloured on the top of the, of the, of the pop top. Mechanism's nice and smooth, one person can put it up. There is a small chip in the gutter there, but the gutter itself, apart from being dirty, is, is, is lovely and straight. No sign of any corrosion or anything in there. This seam down here has a little bit of polish trapped in it, but other than that, lovely. Small chip, tiny little chip here. Like I say, body coloured for the top half. On the bumpers, very nice exhaust as you can see. Again, check the description, we'll detail everything that's been done to the engine. Tail lights on the rear, nice and clean. There is a small crack in the paint around here, around the, the handle where someone's just sort of pulled on it, unfortunately, it's a shame. And there's a little bit of paint chipped off on this seal. But other than that, lovely and clean, all the crap barging and everything nice. Around this rear wheel window, another new seal, all nice and clean as you can see. Heated rear screen. Couple of stickers, because it's a VW camper, that's the rules. It's got to have some stickers, isn't it? Onto this rear corner, all nice and clean, nice and tidy. Got a little little scratch there, tiny little one, as you can see there. Obviously, we're filming this in 4K, so it's lovely and clear. If you look down the side, really, really nice and straight. Another big seam here, which is quite often an area to check. You've got a tiny little bubble at the bottom here. It's just one sort of before it gets any worse. And then another nice, clean, tidy arch. Another good wheel and tyre around this seam at the top here, which flows down there. All nice and clean in around the vents, all good. Popped up on this side, it's lovely. 
Again, around the windows, all good. Nothing to whinge about. Another good louvered window. Again, like I say, thing was pressure washed within an inch of its life the other day. No sign of any moisture in the front. None in the cab, none in the popped up, nothing. Really, really good. The uh, <coughs> sill on this side again, all lovely and clean. Again, you can see underneath. Much easier when these are nice tall vehicles, not slammed on the deck, you can have a proper look at these. Makes my life so much easier. Again, another nice clean arch on this front, left corner. Little chip of the paint here. Other than that, all nice and clean. Around the windscreen, all good. As is the windscreen itself, nice and clean, nice and clear. On the front, nice clean chrome VW badge. I know I'm saying the word clean too many times, I apologise for that. Someone needs to get me a thesaurus for Christmas, I think. A couple of stone chips here and there, and a little mark on the on the leading edge of the light. Another one there, as you can see. But other than that, lovely and clean. Perfectly usable, perfectly presentable. Not too clean that you wouldn't want to drive it into a field. But definitely a striking looking thing, really good looking thing. So the interior is where most of the money gets spent on a on a VW camper. This one, it's been done to a ridiculous extent. It's fantastic. So you've got this sort of two-tone interior, red, leather or vinyl, and then sort of a tweed check, which is gorgeous sort of aluminium fittings and things, which is nice. Now these seats have got a nice story. The uh, the lady that, that built the van um, had a much beloved Saab turbo convertible, which went off to the scrapyard in the sky as these things often do, but she kept the seats, put them in here. So they lived on, which is great. A little bit of wear on this falls to here, but other than that, all lovely and clean. Nice new carpet set in there. It's got additional speakers down the bottom here on both sides. Really nice woodwork in this. I mean, they've spent an absolute fortune. Again, in the description, we'll list who did it. Um, but you've got this extra shelf. Huge cubby hole here, filled with all your cables and everything you need there. A couple of rest of books just in case you need it. Nice big Phillips head units. So that's iPhone, iPod, MP3, DAB, all that kind of stuff. Painted dash top done in the uh, the metallic grey, which is lovely and clean. Do the uh, we'll do the driver's side, and then we'll go and have a look in the back. So again, nice clean seat. You've got a little bit of wear on here. Better than that, nothing to worry about. Nice clean door card. Really cool color combo in here. And then they've gone for this stainless steel wheel with a black wood or tortoise shell style finish with this sort of gold bezel. Really, really cool. Now it's showing 535 miles. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that's definitely been over the clock because there's, there's no way it's done. 535 miles, um, you know, things nearly 60 odd year old. Um, however, I will double check and we will put in the description. It wouldn't surprise me if that's been reset when the engine was rebuilt. Um, but like I said, it's had an absolute fortune spent on the engine. Um, it's an 1800 built by a really well known builder. It is one of the best sounding um, air cooled engines I think I've ever heard. Let's say it's got this lovely exhaust, twin 40 carbs on it there, but we'll start that up in a little second. Actually, we'll do that bit now, and then we'll uh, we'll move on to showing you the cool bits in the back. So it does have quite an expensive alarm system fitted. So arm and disarm, and then there is a secret button to press, which I will show you if you buy it. And there you go, on the button. If I hold that on the back there, you might be able to hear it. So like I say, lovely sounding thing. Really nice and smooth, really happy engine. It's been with us a couple of days now. It always starts on the button, or it does once you know the immobilizer procedure anyway. Yeah, really, really happy engine. We'll knock that off and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the cool bits. Well, obviously these things are very desirable now, so a good, a good immobiliser will reduce your, your insurance down. Now, I'm guessing this came as a welcome mat or a, or, or a bit of a carpet for the floor, but that's what we've been using it as. So the woodwork in this is, is it's glorious. It's, it's the first thing everybody seems to notice when they turn up. It's got these lovely fold-out 
tables, really chunky, proper quality, not MDF. Definitely doesn't feel cheap in any way. You've got your sink in there, all the uh, controls for your sink and the tank and everything are down here. All these push button things to stop them flopping open. Three pin sockets as you'd need. Um, now this fridge has the proper vents and everything so you can use it open when you're not using it. Um, now I, I know just, just, just to put into perspective how much money has been spent here, that fridge was nearly 700 pounds. They've even got the trouble of a proper four in gas hob. Again, it doesn't look like it's ever been used really nice and clean. And the, the grill oven down the bottom there. You've got extra storage in here, which sort of folds out. All your mugs and your plates. It comes out quite far, which is nice. Then you close it, hit that button. You've got a store for your table here, legs under the seat. And the cupboard down there with your gas bottle and everything in it. And then you've got more seating. The seats have been done in this lovely tweed or tartan, don't shoot me for getting that wrong. And then they've got like a leather vinyl back, same as the door cards, everything really, really cool. Um, loads of storage under there and there is some spare material in there should you need it. Like say, louvered windows on both sides with a nice aluminium adjuster. You've got the, uh, the rock and roll bed, which we'll show you in a second with more space down the back. And then over here, you've got your bin storage, like two nice deep storage things chopping board, whatever you want to use it for. Huge, you know, lovely, nice, non-slip floor. Loads of storage underneath there, and it does have the rear seat belts as well, which is important. All your electronics are in there. Fuse board and everything. Uh, one thing I did miss on the front, it does have a sunroof on the front, which is lovely. Nice to pop that open on a summer's day. Um, dead easy on the rock and roll bed. Not so easy with a camera in your hand, but pull it out, there you go. Um, so effectively, this thing is a fall berth because you've got there, and then obviously you've got your pop-top. So this one has a window with a blind on it. The blind's just undone and dropped down. Lovely clear window. Um, and then back here, you've got your extra berth. There is a mattress to go with this, but it's just a case of you just get struggle with one hand because it's on a camera, but this whole piece comes back on itself. So you've got a nice big double bed, lovely and cozy, lovely and comfortable. Like I say, the pop-top's dead easy just to open with one person. Going into the back here. Again, all this has been trimmed so well. Really, really, even down to the, just a little bit in the corner. People don't normally go to this kind of attention. Nice big cupboard in there. LED lighting everywhere. With their own little switches. And then under here you've got floor. Which we'll pull this up and have a look at it. Lovely and tidy. See, we didn't say clean that time. 10 points to me. All nice and clean around here. Nice fitted carpet to go on top. Curtains all around. So there you have it. Easily one of the best campers on the market at the minute. Easily one of the most eye-catching. It's gonna cost you more like 45, 50 grand to build something like this. Um, so you know, by any extent, that makes it easily a bargain. Ready to go, jump in it, take it wherever you want. Any inquiries, please get in touch. You're welcome to come and see it. Happy to show you anything on it. You can come and have a view any day apart from a Sunday. Even if you do want to come on a Sunday, to be honest, just let us know. We're happy to come and, come and show you. If you want a video call, not a problem. If you want extra photos, extra videos, whatever you need, just let us know. We'll help you out. Thank you.